I'm about to make a live Facebook video, so please help me get this straight and do this one right. Oh shit, have you started already? <laughs> hey everyone. So, my name is Owen Fox. You all know me. An Irish leprechaun. And his green. Double green. And his little furry little bra braids. <laughs> so, in this video, I want to talk about saying sorry and admitting you're wrong. And this ties in with the, my second live Facebook video today because I'm on a roll. This is my third ever, my third and most live video Facebooks in a day, <laughs> ever. And I like doing it like, I like doing it standing up because I like to move my body and it makes me say better stuff and feel better. So it ties in my second one, which was about authenticity and vulnerability and emotions and communicating with each other. So this this video, I want to say, my like my mum is the best person to apologize and say sorry that I've ever met. Like when she, if she hurts my feelings or if I get my feelings hurt with her, let's put it that way. If I get triggered or upset with her, if she shares like let's say negative energy, like discordant, disharmonious, disruptive vibrations like let's say anger or whatever usually it's ideal if you don't share anyway we all know we do stuff that isn't nice okay let's put it that way okay and it affects people like energetically vibrationally and even like emotionally and mentally depending on how strong or conscious they are how well they're feeling or how poorly they're feeling so like my mom is actually amazing at saying sorry like i think it's extremely important <laughs> hello I'm with the Namkaran. Hello, welcome back. So, for me, ugh, I really wish deep in my heart, because I actually feel very, like, this touches my heart. Like, I, I hate to hurt people, and if people hurt me, I hate it when they hurt me. You know, no one wants to get hurt. So, yeah, I'm with the Ram Karan says, you bring a smile to my face, just watching you, thank you. Yeah, thanks. So anyway, in this video, I just want to encourage us all to like actually say sorry when we, when we hurt people or we're wrong or we're unconscious. We, we're, we're, we like, we don't make an effort. We, 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 we neglect something. We abandon or hurt or cling or just do something to hurt someone or interfere with their life in some way. Especially people who are close to us. You're like, we, we, they're more open to us. So someone who's more open to us, they, they have their doors open. Like you can, you get inside them more because they're open to you. They're more vulnerable. So if someone loves you, if someone's attached to you, if someone's in a position of, in what's the word, vulnerability towards you, like let's say a child or someone who's sick or in pain or in some way disabled or if they love you even like it's it's really important not to abuse your power or your advantage or your how you can affect them you know so i've i've learned from my mum who I, in my opinion is a brilliant beautiful person is very conscious in many ways and very beautiful like i've shared like if any of you know me on facebook I share a lot of stuff about my mum, how, how much I love and respect her and admire her. And I think she's a really wonderful lady in many ways. So many. Just overall, for sure. I'm just going to use a little bit of a rose water. Kind of getting a bit hot in here. Mmm, like it. I love rose. I bought rose essential oil today. And I bought tea tree oil. <laughs> I got loads of stuff everyone rose and we didn't get that today. And I got CBD cannabis oil the other day as well. But everyone, this video is gonna to cut to the chase. If you heard people say sorry, my mum like says sorry loads of times. She hugs me, she kisses me, she says sorry, I was really cranky, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. She messaged me later saying, Oh I'm sorry for being sorry for being so cranky today, you know. And sometimes I'm cranky too. And I don't like to express that and it's hard not to when you're cranky. You really you're in the mode of wanting to blame people when you're tired or cranky or unwell. Like, you're in the frame of mind, it's hard to know in the moment that you're actually grumpy, when you are grumpy. So it's handy to be aware of this, it's called self-awareness. Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me again. <laughs> 
So yeah, it's starting to warm up here. Oh, a few new faces from my other videos today. Cool. So for me, part of what's extremely important with love is actually tending to a wound that you helped cause in another person. And not only saying sorry or apologizing, but expressing a lot more love than usual, like just extra tenderness, like, like divine feminine mother, motherliness. You want to have the power and the strength within you, like divine masculine, to say, listen here, stand up tall, make like make a scene if you need to. But this scene is about saying you did wrong. And to then do the divine feminine, I love you, I'm sorry, I hurt you. Let me tend to your wound. Let me bandage your sore heart. Let me give you a hug and give you some loving, positive, healing, nurturing energy. And feel like bloody hurting your own heart for hurting their heart. And then make it up to them. Be extra sweet, extra kind. Hi Salman. Hi Susan. Hey everyone. So that's all I really want to say. That's it. It's just, it's just a pure heart message. I'm not going to get off onto big other tangents like I often do in other videos. But everything is so interrelated. I do do that in other videos, just intuitively. Because life is like multifaceted and there's a huge grey area in everything. It's not just a black and white universe we live in by any means. It's a whole vibrational field from left to right. It's crazy. We don't live in a black and white universe. We live in like multicolored fuchsia, turquoise, emerald green, baby blue. <laughs> golden yellow, sun colored bursting orange. So Susan says, hi on. Delicia says, hi on. Thank you for sharing your wisdom. Thank you. <laughs> Did I miss anything else? Do -do -do. Yes, uh, that's it. So everyone, what do you think? I want to ask you a question of authenticity. How much do you feel you're good at saying sorry, apologizing and making up to someone who you've hurt? How, how easy or difficult is it for you to actually say, I was wrong, I made a mistake? It's not, in, sometimes it's not all of our mistake. Sometimes it is. Usually in relationships, there's two people who are tangoing. Sometimes people start the trouble. Sometimes, like, we finish the trouble. We cause the trouble on top of the trouble. That we respond with trouble to the trouble. That's what I used to do, actually. I used to be really, like, good at responding troublesomely to the trouble. And that's a bad thing, by the way. Yeah, I just I didn't have the wisdom and the knowledge I had have now at that stage. I was like, just bad idea. We all make mistakes. We all learn. But yeah, like I remember one of my older relationships. Beautiful person, love the person now. She used to get like triggered. Some sometimes I'd been doing stuff that wouldn't be the like maybe the best. But for me, I felt sometimes I was doing nothing, absolutely nothing. Sometimes the people aren't in the best place in life within themselves. Their vibration is as high as it could be. They just get upset or cranky or narky. And for it, sometimes only people don't even say sorry. That's what my mum is brilliant at. She kicks ass at saying sorry. Takes her a little bit of a while. I had to argue a little bit with her. To defend myself because she's like, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I was like, hey, wait a minute. What the fuck? <laughs> then just take a break. Take a bit of space. And give people time and myself you know to recover and to see clearer again to get our vibration up again so i'm going to go off on a tangent like i pr i promised like i said i wouldn't do and speaking of doing things at the right time timing is everything everybody so strike while the iron is hot that's one thing we should do that's why i made this video strike while the iron is hot i felt the inspiration number two when we have a low vibration, we're cranky or narky or we're upset or distraught. That's not a time to be planning our future or making big decisions in life. For women, possibly menstruation time of the month. If you're feeling lousy, don't start thinking about your relationship being really bad or breaking up at that time. And just in general, if our vibration is low, male or female, don't start thinking about big massive stuff like divorce, marriage, moving house, breaking up in a relationship. Uh, be careful and start thinking about what's been pissing you off the last few days. Because what's going to happen when we're in a lower vibration? We're going to make a big molehill, a big bubble. We're going to... Uh, focusing is a magnifying glass. So when we focus, everybody, <laughs> we're going to inflate the problem. So be careful when you're tired or grumpy or moody or sick. So always wait till you get your vibration up again. Alignment. 
like clarity. Or Abraham says in the vortex, when you get in this place of peace, love, joy, gratitude and appreciation and focusing on the good points about your life, people and yourself, that's when it's good to start thinking about serious stuff in life and how to deal with people and how to what to do next in your life. So this is pretty cool. Um, who else now? Welcome everyone who's joined. I'm glad you joined. So thanks for joining. That's really nice. It's really good. I like when people join. And, you know, everyone's welcome to share the video before, during, after, <laughs> before. <laughs> share the video before I even start. <laughs> That's the type of stuff that I talk about in real life. I'm always goofing around with everyone. It's crazy. So Donna Brooks. Wow, cool. Donna, haven't seen you around. And you always write sweet messages to me. Thanks a lot. You were in a high vibration yesterday. I tell you that. I was thinking that she's in the vortex. She's more in the vortex than me. We got messages. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Ooh, she's feeling really good. Loads of love and gratitude coming from your heart. Melissa says, hey, Owen. Hey, Melissa. Nice to see you joining here. Haven't been a while. I haven't seen you live before, I don't think. Yeah. Well, you're seeing me live. But I haven't seen you in my live video. Susan says, is it morally right to be absorbing your energy? Feels good. <laughs> is it morally right? You're absorbing my energy. Ugh. I get, I'm getting absorbed. Yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> This is Bella's toy that a lovely person gave as a present. Good girl, Bella. One of my ex-girlfriends, actually. Good girl, Bella Boots. Hi. Say hi to Facebook Live. I'm going to change the name of this video to um, Facebook Live Bella. <laughs> <laughs> so, Susan, yeah, it's a good video. Good uh, joke. To be honest, sharing good energy is... For me, I like it, you know. Um, some people might get tired if you're a highly sensitive empath. They absorb loads of energy and it's very overwhelming and draining sometimes. So they have to balance their life extremely carefully. It's like special needs. Good girl, Bella. Do you want to jump down off the chair? So, yeah, I love to share with the energy. Stephen says, He who loves little also forgives little. But he who loves much also forgives much. Yeah, love and happiness and joy, everyone, are very related. I just feel that today, it came to me. And it's because all of them are being in the vortex or are aligned with your higher self. So if you're aligned with your higher self, you're way more likely to do all these kick-ass stuff like love, forgiveness, and focusing on the positive. And it's a continuous battle or awareness. It's not really a battle, of course. So Amwati says... You're very good at saying sorry. Like you, you say, very good at saying sorry because if I don't say sorry when I'm aware that I was wrong, I must apologize or literally feel sick to my stomach. Yeah, of course, when we're aligned and we get back to the awareness, we'll obviously be in, in a heart-centered place more, in which case we'll feel bad for hurting other people. What's up, Bella? Do you want your teddy? <laughs> Bella's making funny noises. Oh, you want your elephant? God, Bella's wild. She's back. She's like growling for her elephant. Good girl, Bella. Look. Ready? Boop! <laughs> She's such a funny creature. I love animals. <laughs> Good girl, Bella. Very nice. And here's some of my herbs. A bit of pine pollen and a few other herbs from my from my shop, higher self, from my store, higherselfherbs.com. A few little things in there. Just with a bit of apple juice. So. Melissa says, usually watch the rerun. Yeah, cool, Melissa. Nice. Hi, Bella, from Melissa. Uh, yeah, people love Bella. I'm what they... Hell, says, I'm enjoying this so much. Thanks, Owen. Just so, just so sorry to have left Ireland a few days before you came back. Oh, well, that's... oh well, next time. Yeah, it would have been nice. We can meet up another time. Magnus says, what's your opinion on biophotons and raw foods and the effect on the human body? Because, yeah, like raw foods, basically speaking, this is kind of like off related to the topic, but... Oh, hey, Emily. <laughs> the less stress we put on our physical body through overeating or eating the wrong unhealthy unnatural foods. So either overeating or eating the wrong unhealthy natural foods or crazy combinations. Combination isn't as too important as long as you don't overdo it. So when you eat simply, 
or lightly and you don't overeat, it doesn't drain your energy. And when you don't drain your energy, you've got more bubbliness and you're more likely to glow. So I see it in myself, like I ever, I, I've been overeating lately because I've been going through some emotional healing and I want to slow it down instinctively. So I just food is my drug, like, or my crutch, my suitor, whatever you want to call it. I don't do any other drugs. But food is sort of like my emotional, emotional eating. And I'll admit that, that's the way I am, folks. But today I, have, I only ate one meal and I like that. I'm going to stick to one meal and I'm more likely to say sorry and be in a higher vibration. If I look after my physical body in every way possible, it's all about balance and harmony. When you keep things balanced physically, you're more likely to be healthy, healthier fit, uh, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. So this is a beautiful rose from my back garden. My mum picked this. My dad's ashes, like, you know, he got cremated. And my bloody, my beautiful cat, Fluffy, my own, one of my two ever dependents in life, before my baby. Yeah, she's buried there as well, so. This is a crazy special rose. I like it. So, Everyone, speaking of death, we're all gonna die. So I really encourage us to love deeply before we pass on or other people we love pass on. Try not have a long lasting argument with anyone. Just say sorry. Open your heart and, and reach out to the people, you know. Um, connect and say sorry before it's too late and just express love. It doesn't matter so much if people don't say sorry to you. It is actually really important for a very close relationship where you can trust someone to like stand integrally and say sorry and make it up to, 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 up to you if they don't act nice. But for our own emotional freedom, it's more important to feel we've acted with integrity and let go of any baggage that we're holding onto personally. So wherever I'm gonna leave this video with that, I've already like gone five times longer than I expected because it's supposed to be just a quick video about saying sorry. And I'll share love with you. So thanks for all your comments and um yeah, I hope you're having a beautiful day and I wish you all the best. And if you want to learn more about like stuff, I recommend Abraham on YouTube. I think they're really, really good. And just keep doing your own thing, whoever you like. Okay. So um if you have any live video or video requests, just leave it in the comments below. And uh, Keep enjoying your life, everyone. Lots of love. Thanks for all of your love and your support and your care towards me. Thanks a lot. Really means a lot to me. Because I find life pretty hard and challenging sometimes. And um, it's the love from the people and the, the, the meaningful relationships that I like the most in life. It's like very beautiful and special. And I also like feeling good physically and getting out of nature. It's like very, very important for me to get out of nature too. I encourage everyone to exercise or move their body, get out of nature, seek balance in life, body, mind, spirit, and uh, just keep learning as much as they can in any way they want. So. Okay, see you folks. Lots of love and thanks again. Yeah, you're all welcome. My pleasure.